and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting time let's get started today's problem is union of arrays with duplicates which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so basically we will be given two arrays array a and array b of integer types and what we have to do is pretty simple we have to return the union of these two arrays we have to return the union of these two arrays so if we will read this line this one paragraph the question statement the problem statement will be very very clear to us so let's read this out the union of two arrays can be defined as the set containing distinct element from both arrays distinct basically means all the elements uh, let's say one take one element once okay distinct basically means take one elements one once and uh, all the distinct elements of both array a and both b and if there are repetitions only one element occurrence should be there in the union okay i think it should be clear but if not let me explain you with a pretty simple example so here you can see this is one array one two three four five and this is one array one two three okay all right so distinct elements from this one two three four five distinct element from this one two three and we will take the union of both of them so basically i think everyone knows a union intersection in class six or seven i think we have read about it so we will draw the venn diagram so it if any venn diagram i will make so it will be something like this okay all right so this whole this whole part with the intersection this is the union this is the union okay so this is what we have to return and uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 2 3 so if we will draw the venn diagram of it it will be something like this with 4 and 5 outside and 1 2 3 inside and this will be a array and this will be b array isn't it so what will be the union of uh, this to a union b is 1 2 3 4 5 and we will simply return the length we will simply return the length of the union so we don't have to return the union but the number of elements in the union okay all right so let's see one more example then uh, let's say 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 so this is our a array okay and b array is something let's say 2 2 okay 2 2 so first of all what we will do is we will basically uh, take one occurrence once only so here from this distinct elements are what distinct elements from first array are 1 2 3 okay and distinct element from second array distinct element from second array is what 2 okay and the union of 1 2 3 and 2 is what 1 2 3 union of 1 2 3 and 2 is basically 1 2 3 so uh, we will simply return the length 3 union length is 3 so return 3 okay isn't this pretty simple yes it is now the let's come on to the approach what approach we are going to take about uh, to solve this problem so basically look as i told in the first step first step we will take the uh, distinct elements distinct elements okay so to take the distinct elements what we have to do what what data structure i have to use we have to use a hash set we have to use a hash set because in hash set duplicate elements cannot be present one element can only be present once okay all right so what i will do look uh, if i put all the elements of a into a set so it will be what one two three four five and only distinct time one element once will be added in the set and then I add the B array elements in that set. So will I get a union? Yes, I will get a union. Yes, I will get a union. Okay. So let me show you how. If I will go back to this array. Okay. Uh, something like this. So first of all, let's make a set. This is my set, let's say. Okay. All right. So first of all, I will put all the A L A A. a array elements so in the set so on putting it it will be something like one two three okay all right isn't this yes correct after that let's say uh, two comma two comma four is in the b array and after that what i will do insert the b elements into the uh, set so b array elements are two okay two is already present okay uh, two again two is already present four so add four add four okay all right and uh, simply return the length of this set simply return the length of this set that is 4 i think it will be pretty simple to you pretty clear to you now and uh, let's move on to the code section then but before that 
please subscribe the channel and like the video if you have loved the explanation and i have made a very cool chrome extension for you with which we can watch the tutorials on this home screen on the geeks for geeks as well as lead code screen only instead of moving to uh, youtube and search there and understand okay so please download that extension and the link is in the pinned comment and all right now let's see the code of it basically uh, code will be of just three four lines so first of all what i will do i will simply take a set of integer type let's name it as hst uh, new hash set okay all right and after that what i will do i will simply iterate over all the array elements of a array okay all the array elements of a array and this is a for each loop it with which uh, elements will come one by one and i will simply do hst dot add i okay all right and after that if you remember what i told do the same thing do the same thing for b array as well so simply do for int i and again b and then hst dot add i okay so now both all the distinct elements of both the arrays are in the hash set and what i will do i will simply return the size of this hash set so hst dot size and yeah guys that is it that's pretty simple basic thing and uh, let's try to compile this and then we will run this i think it's a very very easy problem and uh, i will request geeks for geeks to give some hard problems as well so that my subscribers can also increase and if you are watching this video make sure to subscribe the channel and let me submit this then um, make sure to check the extension out as well and i think it will get accepted let's and it's getting accepted and uh, i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and subscribe the channel